It is the 11th of the 6th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1188. Now I know I've been gone a while. I took a much needed hiatus. Uh, kind of embrace the bliss that is the ignorance of the friends and family around me. They absolutely refuse to see what is really going on. And I understand it's difficult for a lot of us uh, trying to get the word out. Uh, people just don't want to listen. Any news? Here's the latest. Japan nuclear professor it's feared Fukushima fuel pool to collapse in at any time. Any scale of accident is possible. Expert warns ice wall increased risk to the, that the reactor units will move or shift. Buildings very precarious even without freezer barrier being constructed. You remember these buildings are severely damaged after a 9.0 earthquake uh, doused in salt water and uh, have been sitting there for three years now. Uh, the salt water does corrode metal quite extensively. The insanity continues. Japan journalists melted nuclear fuel going through Fukushima contaminated vessels. They don't even know where the three reactor cores went. Hey, we all know where they went, didn't they? They went through containment and into the environment. And now we're leaching directly into the Pacific Ocean. Senior scientists, I'm being told Japan may never be able to remove radiation materials from the site. Solution may be to leave it in place. Now, something I warned you about a couple of years ago. That they're planning just to cap the top of it with concrete and walk away for a couple hundred years until the radiation goes down. Well, the problem with that is, is when you cap a bottle with the bottom broken out of it, it's kind of pointless, isn't it? They're not stopping anything. They have no no idea how they're going to manage this crisis, so they just keep putting out this crap over and over and over again. Fukushima, the world's uh, permanent headache, Arnie Gunderson, and will be bleeding into the Pacific for the next hundred years. Uh, sorry, Arnie, it'll be a lot longer than that. A lot longer than that, especially because they don't know where the corium is. Uh, ABC, greatest nuclear contamination of the ocean in history. It can't be quantified. It's a global issue. Very much so. When these things took aerosol form and went into the environment, they're burning uh, this radioactive material in open incineraries. It's already in the air we're breathing. It's in the rain. It's in the food. It's everywhere. No escaping, kids. No escaping. Japan TV news flash officials fear melted nuclear reactor fuel is now exposed at Fukushima. It's been exposed for a few years now. TEPCO, we don't know at this point if fuel is uncovered. Large drop in water level. Experts struggling to find condition of nuclear cores. Nothing is known for all three reactors. And again, blah, blah, blah. We don't know where they are. Of course they don't. Concern over full plutonium flash at WIP nuclear site triggering disaster that spreads to multiple waste drums. Plutonium-239 is main radioactive isotope and container that exploded. <sighs> Anonymous employee, the warnings were ignored. They put us in danger. If we haven't learned anything from Hanford or Chernobyl or anything else, these people are just going to go around and around in circles. It's all about the profit. They don't really care about you or I. AP reporter after going to Fukushima, quote, there are, real, there are really people getting sick. The fear keeps building. It's probably the biggest story of my life with AP for more than 20 years. I don't want to sound alarmist or scare anybody, but this is real. Well, you better wake up to the fact that this really is real. This is going on. This is not an illusion. And we're not making this stuff up. We're just getting started, folks. We're just getting started. No one knows what's going to happen three or four generations from now. Look what's going on with the butterflies. Senior scientist, U.S. West Coast had radiation dose estimated at five microsieverts from Fukushima. We all know how low these government estimates are. I'm not going to say it's low. Risk of health effects not zero. CBS, there's more radiation in potato chips than fish around the Fukushima plant. So we went from bananas to iPhones to potato chips. 
Well, after all the abandoned uranium mines in Idaho, um, those potato chips might be radioactive after all. So watch your potato chips, folks. The insanity continues. NBC station reveals nuclear workers suffering from severe brain damage, toxic waste raining down from the sky. They wore baseball caps for protection. Brains being eaten away, teeth falling out, workers raise safety issues framed using false evidence. Fired. Government agency not allowed to investigate this safety. This is at Hanford, of course, where the insanity continues. <sighs> That's never going away. Japan TV. Government officials discover nuclear material flowing into ground at Fukushima. Three years later. Good job, guys. Release thought to be ongoing for months. Let's say years. Expert no end to problems with radioactive waste at plant. Public does not trust what they are being told. Well, of course we don't trust what's being told. These are lies being portrayed over and over and over again. If you watch my videos from the past, you will hear basically the same stories. It's a big roundy round. They're not going to tell us what's going on. Not really. Uh, study water helps dissolve Fukushima melted nuclear cores accelerates corrosion. This is the salt water. Plutonium concentrates on outer edge of fuel. Poses much larger environmental threat. So none of these news agencies want to even talk about plutonium and the dangers of plutonium. Not to mention the strontium and the 1300 radioactive isotopes that they all flow around together. It's not just one thing all by itself. Okay, and this stuff accumulates. These low doses we have been taking these low doses, these won't hurt you doses, every day, every day, every day, 1188 and counting. It doesn't go away. U.S. experts, Fukushima melted fuel, a concern for millennia. I agree. Risk of criticality from corium moving, redistributing. TEPCO chief, certainly a difficult path ahead. We'll be able to move forward if we can find damaged fuel. And here's the big mystery. Where's the fuel? Nobody knows where the fuel is. <sighs> Senior scientist, Fukushima is not under control. It has alarm bells going off on the west coast. Former official, I'm humiliated. Japan lies to the world about how much contamination is entering the Pacific. Nuclear material polluting ocean more and more. With the Japanese Mafia, the Yakuza in charge of all these subcontractors running this cleanup operation, it's a wonder why shady things are being done every moment of every day. The horror stories continue to come out of Fukushima as far as the employees, uh, the working conditions, and what's really going on. Uh, Japan journalist workers very worried about deformed 400-foot structure falling on Fukushima reactor buildings and causing another crisis. Immediate repairs needed, yet can't do anything due to extreme radiation levels. Staff told to constantly watch it. One of the site's most dangerous places. Now this is that vent stack, stacked up between two of these reactors that had a big crack in it. And it's so radioactive, they can't get close to it. Where do you think they vent? the radiation from these reactors out into the environment through these stacks. The insanity continues. Uh, more concern about the ice wall to trigger significant substance, uh, further endanger re reactor buildings, risk of more nuclear material spilling out of basements due to dramatic change in groundwater. Numerous hazardous could undermine the plant, impact the entire situation being studied. They're not doing anything, they just continue to study, and they will continue to study and study and study as long as it is profitable. Strontium reaches 500 billion becquerels in basement at Fukushima. Record levels reported at five locations near ocean. U.S. senior scientists, quote, we see strontium becoming more of a concern. Food chain will have to be studied more carefully. Think they're going to tell us about these studies? Hmm, where are all these studies? Where are all the scientists? <sighs> AP, drastic plunge in baby California pelicans. Zero born in multiple study areas. 
expert bottom dropped out from thousands to ten or less, unknown why it's occurring. And again, it's a big mystery. They're going to blame everything but the nuclear industry. The things uh, they're not mentioning also is the giant tsunami swept the entire coast of Japan out to sea, the industrialized coastline, and no telling what toxic soup is being pushed up against the United States right now. They're saying, don't worry, it's diluted, blah, 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 but we know these problems just keep getting worse. It's the seals, it's the pelicans, it's the owls, it's the bears, it's the fish. What's it going to take for people to wake up one day when everything's gone? And they're all just standing there scratching their tumors. Ah. Top Science Journal. Time bombs at whip nuclear site? Question mark. High alert over risk of new explosions and hundreds of plutonium contaminated drums. Four years may be needed just to seal off area where drums are stored. Experts go down to check if ground is still stable. Now you got to remember the initial days of this WIP disaster, they were talking about the entire ceiling collapse on a few of these football-sized storage rooms they've got dug a half mile underground. You tell me how they're going to get all this cleaned up. Kitty litter. They're blaming it on kitty litter. Uh, Japanese scientists, we gave butterflies food from Fukushima. Then they died. Deformities got worse with each generation. TV, truly horrifying. It doesn't, even, it doesn't really even look like a butterfly anymore. The butterflies multiply a lot faster than we do. So who knows what's going to happen in the next few generations. We've already seen the disease and the st st sterility rate rise from the initial release of radioactive material from back in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. You gotta remember this didn't start with Fukushima. The entire nuclear industry is a crime against humanity and needs to be shut down immediately. We need to deal with this situation or this situation is going to deal with us. New emails reveal concern over plutonium chain reaction in whip containers. There shouldn't be a significant reaction criticality. Safety issues are not my area of expertise. Significant amount of plutonium, not to mention contaminated kitty litter. Biodegradable. Nice. And uh, official breach of Fukushima reactor building blamed on saltwater corrosion. We're just getting started. Over 75 tons of highly radioactive liquid flowing out every day. And of course, this is a very low ball number. Finally today, Fukushima Diary. I got a little story here I wanted to share. Uh, the other day, I heard a, a lower grade student of an elementary school say dropping an atomic bomb to go to the toilet. He was playing in uh, Koryama City. When asked why he said that, he smiled and said, because I'm in a highly contaminated area and my body has taken radioactive material in. Going to the toilet means dropping it out, so I call it dropping an atomic bomb. Elementary school kid. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. I'm trying. Thanks. Oh yeah, go on. Click the subscribe button. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.